Hi guys, today we're looking at the hands of one of the people in our palmistry community to show you how karma works with money problems and how this shows up on the hands. Now karma is one of my favorite topics in palmistry and I did my PhD research on this area. This is some of what I want to teach you guys today. But first, let's cover some theory. In the Indian system, it is a planet Saturn that gives justice and karma to people. So if you suffer, it's because of Saturn. And if you do well, it's also because of Saturn. This is why the Saturn line in palmistry is called the line of fate in Western palmistry circles, because it gives money. But in the Indian system, I want you guys to think of this line as a line of effort and hard work, because that ultimately goes hand in hand with karma. Now the other bit of theory I want to look at is the question, what causes karma? And the answer to that is ignorance. It is ignorance that creates your karmic backlog. And in a palmistry perspective, this is governed by the north node of the moon. Rahu, and you can see how his lines are shown on the hand. Okay, so to see how karma is created and resolves itself with your money and career, look at the Rahu lines and their effect on the Saturn line. And the point where the Rahu line cuts a lifeline shows an event and the age at which it cuts the Saturn line shows the consequences of that event. Okay, so to give you guys an example, let's have a look at the hands of Darshan. And he's currently 48 years old. These are his Saturn lines. And these are his Rahu lines. So start with the first Rahu line that cuts his lifeline at the age of 19 and then cuts into his Saturn line. Seeing this, we can see that some event must have taken place at the age of 19 which created his career. And you can see how this line cuts the Saturn line at the age of 40. So we can connect these two years at the age of 19 that created his career and at the age of 40 which must have caused some sort of problem in his career. We'll get to exactly what happened in his life in a minute, but I'm giving you guys the groundwork here first. The next Rahu line we see cuts his lifeline at the age of 29, and goes to the Saturn line at the age of 31. So again, we can see that some negative event must have happened at the age of 29, which had a financial impact on him at the age of 31, in a calming kind of way. Then we've got this Rahu line that cuts his lifeline at the age of 40, and goes to the Saturn line at the age of 26. So again, we can connect these two ages as well. And lastly, there's this Rahu line that cuts his lifeline at the age of 45. Now this is a big one because it cuts into his line and this line in this Mudrika Shastra is known as Brata Reka, which means a line for a brother. And the Rahu line cutting this line tells us that Dushan is gonna have financial problems because of his brother at some point in his life. Okay, so that's what the lines mean and when they occur. So let's put this theory together to see the narrative of this guy's life and see if these lines on the palm match with what's actually happened to him. So starting at the age of 19, Dustin's father had an accident and was bedridden for three months. So he left what he was doing and he joined the family business and he ran that business into serious losses, probably because he was so young. Now remember that this event is connected to the age of 45. So we're gonna come back to that in a minute. But at the age of 29, this person joined a new business with his brother-in-law, who, to cut a long story short, cheated him and embezzled a lot of money, and then pinned the blame on him. So he lost lots of friends and suffered a really bad name in his community as a result of this. Two years later, at the age of 31, he managed to recover from that loss and still managed to buy a property for himself. When he was 40, he was involved in a salt business, but at one point he was transporting a big order of salt during a major storm that ruined his product. As a result of that, he lost a ton of money and his reputation in the market. Then let's look at the line at the age of 45. So after Dushan's salt misadventure, he got into the noodles business. And he was doing well with that until about the age of 45, when Maggie India had a major health scandal take place within their operations. He somehow managed to get out of that PR disaster by suffering major financial losses. And notice how he grows a new Saturn line at this age also. Right now, at the age of 45, he's got a business with salted noodles and confectionery. And I think this guy's luck is about to change for the better. Okay, so let's put this together to see how karma has played out with his career. So he started working at the age of 19 because of a family obligation. That led directly to losses that he had with his Maggie noodle business at the age of 45 and you can see that on the Saturn line. Now the Rahu line at the age of 45 cuts into his brother line and it crosses the Saturn line at the age of 19. 
and what happened here was that it was his brother-in-law and not his brother that cheated him. So the palmistry is close in the detail here, but we can see that the karma of him messing up his father's business at 19 led to his brother-in-law messing him around at the age of 29. Now for those of you into astrology, the father is the ninth house of the zodiac, and the brother-in-law also sits in that same house, so it's identical energy. So if he made a mistake in his father's business through either incompetence or not knowing how to run a business, he had to deal with that at the age of 29. And that may not sound fair because Saturn rewards truth, then it gave Dushin a property at the age of 31. So a bad thing happened, but good came out of it, so to speak. So we can see that the house or apartment that he was able to buy was a kind of a karmic reward for what his brother-in-law did to him. Then we turn our attention to the problem that he had at the age of 40. Now that was just plain bad luck. He was transporting salt during a storm and didn't package or protect it properly. There's no real karma attached to this event other than to say that he managed to bounce back quickly into the noodle business at the age of 45. Now the Rahu line at 45, the one that goes into his brother line, is interesting. This is when Dushan started up his noodle business and when Maggie India had their problems. So we can see that there's some karmic backlog left over from him from both his father and brother-in-law that he had to balance with his noodle business. And now that he's 45, he's done with most of the bad business nightmares he's had to deal with in the past. I actually think things will start to look up to him. He's got a fish that's due to be activated in a few years, which will give him wealth. He's also got a conch symbol that will add to it in his mid-50s. So he will be okay, but all that good stuff could only come after his karma was balanced through his Rahu and Saturn lines. So there's definitely a past life connection between him and his father and his brother-in-law that led to his business problems in his life. And those business problems are directly going to lead to success with business later on in life. Okay guys, that's my take on how to find karma with money through the Rahu and Saturn lines. Hit the like button or the subscribe button if you want more videos like this. Thank you.